Hey FUMC, I cannot express how much I miss y'all. <laughs> I am waiting for the day where we can all come back to the church and just praise the Lord together and hug each other um, in a safe manner, hopefully. <laughs> and I really miss y'all. So until then, I am going to share a worship song with y'all that has really meant a lot to me lately. Um, I have just been in one of those seasons lately where it seems like one thing after the other. <laughs> um, and I have recently just lost a friend and have been going through grief with that. And then right after that, I sprained my ankle and have been summoned to the couch. So um, for those of y'all that, that know me, um, you know I'm an extrovert and I need to move, I need to be with people, I <laughs> all sorts of stuff like that. And so I had a friend um, just send me this song and said, Rachel, you need the song in your life. And I listened to it once and immediately texted her back and was like, yep, you're right, I do. <laughs> um, this song is called The Canvas and the Clay by Pat Barrett. And oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, it starts off. Um, saying, or one of the main chorus, choruses of this song is, when I doubt it, Lord remind me, I'm wonderfully made. You are an artist and a potter. I'm the canvas and the clay. And it goes in to say, Lord, like you make all things work together for my good, for the future, for the kingdom. God, you make all things work together. And I love this idea of being called, being compared to the clay and God being the potter because he's, he's constantly shaping us and forming us and molding us into who we truly are, our best selves. Um, and that's only found through this divine potter um, who's teaching us, who is there for us as we're going through hard times, is molding us into who we're truly meant to be. And it's not going to be comfortable at all. Um, and there, there are going to be some, some times where it is good, and then there are going to be some times where you just say, Lord, I know you're molding me right now. I'm like, I <laughs> help me get through this. Um, later on in the song, it says, I know nothing has been wasted, no failure or mistake. You're an artist and a potter. I'm the campus and the clay. Um, this was the part in the song where I just broke down <laughs> sing, um, singing and crying. Because um, I really just needed to hear that. And I fully believe that songs come to us in seasons um, whenever we need them most. And scripture comes to us in seasons whenever we need them most and sometimes they mean a lot to us in a specific season and this is that part for me just knowing like I can look back on things and just ask the Lord what were you doing or what is the good in this but I know nothing has been wasted no failure or mistake and one thing that I also really love about the song is that it repeats that song or that part of the song over and over and over again as if the artist and the songwriter just said yeah no we need to get this ingrained in other people's minds because it's hard to believe sometimes that that mistake or that failure that I made could possibly be used for the kingdom <laughs> and that the Lord it doesn't view that as a mistake or um, as something that can be wasted and that he will use that for the benefit of the kingdom. Um, I hope this song reaches someone that really needs to hear it. I want to encourage you all to um, just find a worship song and put it on a repeat non-stop for an hour. <laughs> Go in your car, scream, sing it, do whatever you need to do. And just repeat those words over and over and over again. Speak them out loud. The words that your heart needs to be told. The words that you need to hear right now. I love you all. And we're in this together. And um, I can't wait to see you all in person. I'll have a good one.